All right, last time we came out, we actually went further in the back country to do a bow drill. And I showed a simpler way to make bow drill work for you. Um, did not get the bow drill fire actually, you know, lit, but it's okay. The technique is the more important thing. That's what we were talking about. So for this episode, I'm out here with two different knives. We're gonna do the same exact bow drill kit. So I've got that same piece. Here's the same spindle. I'm gonna carve up a new spindle, feather stick some cottonwood, make a new bow, and we're gonna do this again. Uh, this time we're gonna show, or I'm gonna show, uh, what success with a bow drill looks like. So we're gonna jump in and get started first off talking about the knives. So last time we talked about um, a kind of a bush tool similar to the Skookum bush tool uh, made popular by Morse Kahansky and like a scout knife, the Pathfinder scout knife made popular by Dave Canterbury which is kind of modeled after the French trade style. Today we're talking about two classic designs from two iconic bushcrafters. Um, we're talking about the Kephart style, which this is a LT Wright uh, mouse stamp A2 steel Genesis knife, uh, Scandinavian grind, nice barrel type handle broomstick style. I used a similar knife during survival training. I'm sure you've heard about it a bazillion times by now. Uh, and the other knife is modeled after George W. Sears. I think that's his middle initial, but often known as Nesmic. And that is the style of this knife. Now this is not a true Nesmic. This is kind of a, a modern take on it. This is the Canteen knife. I think that's what it's called. Nordsmith design, LT Wright made. Let's see, let's point in closer here. Now this knife is in CPM 154, much larger blade. Now what makes it a Nesmic style is that kind of hump right here and the sweeping blade. This is ideal for butchering, uh, for camp chores. At least that's why Nesmic designed it and chose that style. Um, we're gonna put them, I mean, they're not really head to head because they're completely different knives, you know, different styles, different purposes, but you know, we're just gonna use them. We're gonna have fun with them. So anyway, let's start with uh, carving out the a, a new spindle out of this piece. Actually, no, I can't use this. This is my bearing block. This time, in my little belt pouch, I brought my bearing block. This is an actual handmade bearing block that I bought off of a user of Bushcraft USA forum. Bushcraft, yeah, Bushcraft USA. Um, really nice, really nice wood. So, very excited to finally use this. It will be friction free. Um, I've just got to make the bearing the right size so that it locks in there. So I'll probably finish carving out this one. I'm going back and forth, so yeah, let's make it happen. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Gotta say, so far, this thing is slicing really nicely.
I gotta say, I am highly impressed by this knife. I did not expect it to be so agile. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's a lot of dust, so... Plenty to burn. Alright, so there's not the rush too much at this point. It's okay to take some time. Grab a, pop, a proper bird's nest of some sort. Got this big old bundle right here. That's a piece. this up a little bit. Tip it in gently. Fold it so it still gets air. And sometimes, just the wind itself will help this catch. And we've got fire. I'm not trying to start a real fire. Um, kind of just off the, like a park. So I don't want to cause any issues. I want to do some feather sticking. Just a few little curls, and this thing is amazing. Well done, Nord Smith and LT Wright. Just look at some of those curls. Genesis. Can't go wrong with it. 
So nice. So Kephart versus Nesmic. Obviously, we're not gonna pick like a winner or anything like that, but you know, they're both amazing. They're both great. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. You know, which is your preference? Nesmic or Genesis or Kephart or Canteen Knife or Camp Knife or whatever this this knife name is. I'm gonna pack things up, head out of here. Um, so until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.